Then I argue that this impedance really determines how much wave is transmitted, how much wave is reflected. Therefore, impedance really characterize the medium. Therefore, I would like to call it characteristic impedance. And I want to claim that impedance would determine all the acoustic behavior that we will study later on. So this class is impedance class. I want to see acoustics using one word, impedance. Or I can say that if you understand the impedance, you understand acoustics. Because impedance determines how much wave is reflected and transmitted. So if you can measure impedance, then you can estimate and you can get how much wave is reflected and transmitted. Therefore, when you back to your home, carry on one word, what, what should be one word you have to remember? Impedance. Impedance. It's the name you are not allowed to forget. So next time when you come in, I will ask you, do you know impedance? What does it mean? Therefore, I would like to summarize this lecture by examining again the physical meaning of impedance. Impedance is essentially the ratio between force and velocity. This is, I mean, impedance is, is a strange quantity. It's, it expresses the ratio. <coughs> okay. And I could argue that the impedance of this desk is infinity because there is no displacement, no velocity. And the impedance of this guy's hand has a finite amount because when I exert some force, the point is moving. Okay? This concept essentially opens us another interesting concept. That is driving point impedance. Okay. Suppose I am driving a string over here. There's a string. Next time I will bring the string. Infinite string, I am driving it. I am driving it. What would happen? When I go move up, the string follow me. When I move down, the string follow me. Move up, string follow me, right? So the MP, that when I move up and down over here with some force, the velocity is the same as I mean, the direction of velocity is the same as the direction of force. In other words, same phase. Right? Right? So if it is infinity, then the driving point impedance that I write as Gm, or mechanical impedance, it should be real. Right? Because when I move up, it comes with me. Move down, comes with me. So there is no phase difference. What about if I have 
termination. Okay, when I move up, depending on frequency, I may have phase difference. But at least it, it is different with that. Right? Right? What I feel over here would be different what I feel when I vibrate infinite stream. When I vibrate infinite stream, what I feel is there is no resistance. When I move on, it just go away. It's like, a, it's like you, you, you oxalate your water, for example, over here. Uh, endless water. Then, when you oxalate this, it just go away. Never come back. But, when you have a finite tube, when you oxalate, something is coming back and hitting you might affect your excitation. So this that is another type of impedance, but interesting thing is the impedance at this point expresses what is happening over here. In other words, the point information, point information possesses what's going on on this whole dimension. In other words, by measuring driving point impedance, I can describe what is going on in the rest of the world. That is exciting. That is amazing, actually. Right? Point measurement, point information contains what's going on what's going on over here. Isn't it nice? If that is true for our life, then just imagine what's going on in the morning that predicts everything what's going on in the rest of the uh, uh, the rest, rest of the life, for example. Right? So now, next lecture, I'm trying to expand the concept of characteristic impedance to the driving point impedance, and then I will demonstrate how this driving point impedance really expresses the physics on this domain that we did, it did not measure. So, next time, come here with a full of excitement. And your ticket, your ticket must written, I mean your ticket must show the impedance, right? So impedance lecture. So come here tomorrow lecture, I mean on Thursday, okay, with the mind of impedance. And I will ask you, what is impedance? What is impedance? What is impedance? We will have a small discussion about impedance. Impedance is the ratio between force and velocity. Okay? <coughs>